This is an engineering project I've been working on for the last two or three months. Uh, I had some news I wanted to share with all of you and I knew that there was only one way I wanted to share it. Uh, I wanted to launch it to the edge of space with a high altitude balloon. Now I've seen teams of engineers do this on my show, but I wanted to do this all by myself, mostly to prove to myself that I could. Now I have four degrees in science and engineering, two of which are from MIT but I have been working as a TV show host for the last five years. And so I've been kind of avoiding technical projects because I was afraid that maybe I couldn't do it anymore. It's like that little voice in your head that tells you that you're a fraud. And so if I just avoided technical projects altogether, I wouldn't know either way. <laughs> and so I tried something. I tried ignoring that voice for once. And something crazy happened. It worked. Here's what I set up. But we have our styrofoam box here, right in the middle here, we have our spot GPS. Now the thing about spot is that it needs line of sight to communicate with satellites. And so if the payload were to land upside down and spot were to be pointed towards the ground, it wouldn't work and I wouldn't be able to find my payload. So I designed a three axis gimbal so that no matter how it lands, this will ideally always be pointed towards the sky. Our camera here that looks outward. We have another camera here that looks outward. Uh, we're gonna have a cool image right here for it to look at. Um, this is where our flight computer is inside here. That's gonna be the Arduino, the sensors for the pressure, temperature, and altitude. And we have our little astronaut here just overseeing the process, making sure nothing goes wrong. After a couple of months of design research, this will reduce the amount of spinning that hopefully the payload sees. Home Depot trips, Arduino coding, and our pressure and temperature and altitude sensor. This is a high situation. Learning how to tie specific knots is a double fisherman's knot and getting approval from the FAA. Hi, uh, I would like to file a notum for a high altitude balloon release. Okay, go ahead. Anything else I can do for you today? Uh, no, that's it, thank you so much. We got permission to launch. We finally get to launch day. We are at the launch site. It is about 8 a.m. We're setting up everything. We're in a dog park. Dogs are slowly rolling in. We are getting a little bit nervous about the dogs, but other than that, everything's going great. Project time commence. This is our uh, astronaut payload engineer. She's gonna oversee the process during the launch. Oh, and remember how I said I wanted to share something with you all? That's my timer. I'm a little nervous to look.
Oh, I'm not a pretty crier. <laughs> Surprise! We are having a baby. I am actually 21 weeks pregnant, which means I am more than halfway there. So I have been pregnant since late November. There's a baby in there. When I found out, I wanted to tell Tommy in a special way. And it was Christmas time, which was perfect. And so I did what any normal partner would do, and I made him solve a series of puzzles <laughs> to figure it out. We have our first spot GPS signal. Uh, it's already south of Merced, which is still like 40 minutes away. So we have the general direction. The chase is on. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. Ah, this is awesome. This is where we think the balloon has landed. We're four minutes away from learning whether or not today went successfully. <laughs> There's just a bunch of farmland, which is great but hopefully it's just not caught in like trees like that or power lines like that or on a roof. There's lots of possibilities of this being in a unfortunate location. All right, we're running through some farmland. You see the parachute? Hoping that we at least get in trouble after we collect this payload. To be honest, I can't believe that this worked on the very first try. I can't believe that it worked at all, but I think that, that was a mixture of just a ton of preparation and a little bit of luck. <laughs> Either way, um, this experience taught me that, you know, I don't think I was afraid of failing necessarily, because if the balloon failed, I just would have tried again next weekend. I was more afraid of giving up. 
I was afraid that the project was gonna get too hard and I was gonna quit. And what would that say about me, right? And so once I decided that I wasn't going to quit, once I came to that conclusion, the project started becoming fun. So if you are someone that has a voice in your head that tells you that you're a fraud, I highly recommend every once in a while telling that voice to shut up because then you can do some really fun things.